Hey guys, let's talk about artificial intelligence art, <laughs> AI art. So if I wanted an astronaut riding a horse in a photorealistic style, that's one example it's going to draw for me in one second. Uh, it might draw this one for me, okay? Uh, but it'll never draw the same thing twice ever. So it, it, it could have been that it drew that one for me. Or maybe this one for me. So I can have it draw a few and I can pick... Uh, from something I like or several things I like or if I'm auto generating pages and I need these for every one of the pages for whatever reason uh, Then I can do that. Well, that's kind of cute, but who in the world needs that? So let's take a look at a different idea. What about the same astronaut riding the same horse so to speak, but in the style of Andy Warhol? <laughs> and so now we've got ideas like this and again, every single time it creates something, it'll never create it twice. It'll always be a unique perspective, a unique image. And we'll say, okay, but what does that have to do with anything? And the answer is, let's keep exploring first. So check it out as a pencil drawing. So here's the notion. When you want to make your web pages rank, then one or two or three of the images on your page may have to do with an exact product or service uh, brand or company. Uh, and your images will relate to that. But then a lot of images are not that. They're examples of the work doing its thing right. So for carpet um, installers, they're going to show lots of pictures of carpet. Uh, for nursing homes, they're going to show lots of pictures of very open and inviting environments. Um, for DUI, they're going to have pictures of car accidents. You know, there's all these things. And you, you want to open your mind to concepts of just how widely you can think about this. Check this out. Teddy bears mixing sparkling chemicals as mad scientists as a 1990s Saturday morning cartoon. How's that for a description? In other words, the more descriptive we get, then the more exacting uh, the result so what we want to do is learn how to think about these things, right? What if we wanted the same teddy bears to go shopping for groceries, though? Oh, before I do that, let me do as digital art for the uh, same thing about mixing the chemicals. Sorry, I kind of skipped this component for a minute. But it's really important to show the variations and the diversity. Um, and you might think, well, why? That's like utterly creative and I'm not sure what to do with it. And the answer is Google cares that you use interesting ideas to keep people excited and interested on your website. You're getting access to all this imagery uh, because we made that possible. So what about a bowl of soup <laughs> that, oh yeah, 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 let me go back. Teddy bears shopping for groceries in this particular style. I think it's Japanese, right? Uh, Yukioi, Yukioi. I don't know, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, check that out. Or as a one-line drawing, <laughs> isn't that something else? Okay. Or in ancient Egypt, they're shopping for groceries in ancient Egypt. How much effort would it take for you to construct an image like that? Okay. So let's keep going. How about a bowl of soup that is a portal to another dimension? as digital art, okay? So, I mean, we can go as far as we can think, all right? Now, the limitations that I found of AI art right now, biggest ones, um, are good limitations, really. It's stuff like this. Can't use it for nudity. Can't use it for politics. Can't use it to take public figures or known people or basically anyone and make them look bad make it look like they're doing something in a photograph, okay? So the some of the limitations are going to be that this will make faces fuzzy to avoid lifelike um, expressions and result. Um, in the style of Bisquay. Look at that, right? Isn't this just off the charts unbelievable, the way they're doing this? What about drawn on a cave wall? <laughs> oh, just cute, but amazing. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, this should open up creativity hard and fast and also make your stuff rather interesting. 
So having said all that, what's the point? The point is um, we can create anything and I'm only showing you this to show you the nuances. When I say draw a teddy bear, that's not enough information. When I say draw a teddy bear mixing sparkling chemicals, then you can do that, you know? Uh, and you can draw as a cartoon <laughs> or as a 1990s, uh, whatever it was that they said, <laughs> Saturday morning cartoon, sorry, or as digital art or in a steampunk style, right? There's so many things you can do. So just realize that that kind of potential is what makes everything possible with the AI art that we're doing on our pages, no matter what, whether it's photorealistic, whether it's about grooming cats. I mean, there's there's so many things you can think of that you can do with it, right? Roofing, you know, um, anything you can think of. Selling stuff that motivates you or, or getting out there and jogging, you know, or anything. There's so many ways of designing the image commands to generate images that when you start looking at them, you go, oh, I like that one and that one and that one and that one. I'm gonna build that into my structure for how I create the pages. So it's gonna create a header one, a couple paragraphs, image. Header two, paragraph or two, another header two, paragraph or two, another image. Another header two, a paragraph or two or three, another image, you know, that kind of thing. So you can build that formula, that recipe, if you will, into a structure and then say, give me 10 pages like that. And you're gonna wind up with all of these awesome pages that you can use for different affiliates in your group on your website or for having uh, pages for every different city or just different pages talking about basically the same kind of thing. But all of them are gonna have unique contents and all of them are gonna have unique images. Okay, let me give you some more uh, examples, right? Like. What if we just wanted to type any old thing we want, like an impressionist oil painting of sunflowers on a purple vase or something, right? Again, when you make quality images, you're going to make your pages more interesting. So think up cool things that make your pages interesting. You might think, well, isn't that a pain if I, I wanna make a 100 page website? And the answer is no, it's not. You're gonna make what, five base pages, maybe 10. So you're gonna put your time and effort into those to make them awesome. And then you're probably gonna make variations of that for every different thing, either every different affiliate or every, every different city or whatever it is, right? Most people don't need hundreds of pages of totally unique content, but you can build that up uh, over the course of however often. I mean, you can literally create 100 pages in a day without even thinking twice. You know, when we get to the content generation, you'll see how that works too. But as you can see, the images is just a matter of what cool stuff can I put on these pages? So check this out, I wanna make this clear. See this cool image here of the uh, fish in the glass, right? What was the command that somebody typed here to make that thing happen? Here's what it is. 3D render of a cute tropical fish in an aquarium on a dark blue background, digital art, right? As digital art, that being the idea. Check that out. Isn't that neat? What What about the next image? What do you think this next one was? An armchair in the shape of an avocado. Isn't that neat? <laughs> How about this one? An expressive oil painting of a basketball player dunking depicted as an explosion of a nebula. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? A photo of a white fur monster standing in a purple room. Just crazy, huh? What do we got? A blue orange sliced in half laying on a blue floor in front of a blue wall. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? What about this one? A Van Gogh style painting of an American football player. Right, what, what about this guy here? A plush toy robot sitting against a yellow wall. Okay. There we go with the bowl of soup again. That is also a portal to another dimension as digital art, <laughs> right? And 
that's kind of the point. You can do all this stuff, right? An abstract painting of artificial intelligence. A photo of Michelangelo's sculpture of David wearing headphones. <laughs> okay. I mean, you could go everywhere. What's um, a centered explosion of colorful powder on a black background? Um, a photo of a Samoyed dog with its tongue out hugging a white Siamese cat. One, a couple of these I really like. This one with a tree, a hand palm with a tree growing on top of it. I think that's amazing. Uh, I also like this one here. A photograph of a sunflower with sunglasses on it in the middle of the flower. The sunglasses are in the middle of the flower. In a field on a bright sunny day. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, how about this neon bit here? It's a uh, Formula One car driving on a neon road. Right? Or this. A synth wave style sunset above the reflecting water of the sea. As digital art. Okay. You can use hand-drawn stuff. You can come up with so many things. A hand-drawn sailboat circled by birds on the sea. You know, what about a, a comic book cover of a superhero wearing headphones? Isn't that neat? So yeah, you can do uh, two futuristic towers with a sky bridge covered in lush foliage as digital art. Okay, so I've said enough. I, I, it even does realistic uh, indoors, right? A sunlit indoor lounge area with a pool with clear water. And another pool with translucent pastel pink water next to a big, whatever it is. Uh, but you get the idea. I mean, it can create awesome indoors, outdoors. Tell it like what kind of a backyard. Backyard where? In Arizona or Florida or what? I mean, name a city, name an area, you know. Um, if you want to do mountains, go for it and just decide what kind you want. Um, what do you want to do? So there you go. There's the incredible power of what we've got available for you built in to these new templates. And <clears throat> what we're doing is first, we had the manual creation mechanism so you can generate images and save them and then uh, upload them to the website and then attach them to your pages, however you want. But then the second feature of that, aside from being able to generate and see them, once you know you've got your formulas right for the images and you can generate a bunch and they all look good, then go ahead and build those formulas into your page generations so that as the pages are written, they make time for those images to be inserted on the way. So those images will be inserted left or right or centered uh, going down the page in a smart way. Okay, hope you find that interesting because it's, it's really unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I love this.